marmots uh, represented probably a, a major food source, not only in the high elevation, but in rock piles down at lower elevations. They're very common. The meat is, is easily digestible. It's uh, used even today as a uh, meat to make a broth that's given to sun dancers after they've finished fasting. This is a pit that is dug to uh, cook meat in. It should uh, be about three feet deep. And then uh, the rocks put in here to heat up and we will do this until we have a layer of these hot rocks in there and then put some choke cherry branches on there upon the hot rocks and we'll put the meat on top of the choke cherry branches. If there is bigger chunks of meat or the whole animal itself, of course, then it'd be a large pit where you will have to add a little moisture like sprinkling water on it and then covering it with this hide. We call them rock chuck because they live in the rocks, you know, and, and uh, he used to uh, dig the pit like this also and uh, bury them and then put the dirt on top, you know, and uh, then he had the fur and everything on them though, you know, they leave oh. the fur on oh. everything and then when they take them out of there, uh, you know, then they just peel them open and that was one of our uh, Delicacies, I guess. Delicacies, yeah. Ancient hunters and gatherers would have utilized all these available food sources. Evidence indicates that over half of the sheep eater's diet was comprised of plants, roots, berries, and seeds. In fact, they used many of the same plants favored by their primary prey. We have the buffalo jerky. The buffalo jerky was cut into the meat taken and jerked off like that and dried. That's off where you get jerky from. They could hold it on a, a choke cherry branch and bake it over the fires. Then while it bakes through, then they pound it into this here, this here pulverized buffalo meat. Here is the crushed choke cherry and they ground this between rocks to the fine consistency that it is. And this can go in here and you make your pemmican that way. And you put the buffalo kidney fat in here because it's a natural preservative. And when they were moving from camp to camp, they would put it in a parflesh they bury it, and then when the camp moves, the men stay behind, a couple of the men from the family stayed behind and urinated on that spot so that the wild animals would stay away from it. Mm -hmm.